all right folks we've reached the moment we've been waiting for we've got all our cable dragged out here that's about uh, 65 feet of three uh, pieces of MCM 500 cable all copper very very heavy several hundred pounds of cable we've got to pull it through the conduit that we buried and get it up into this box so the first thing that we're gonna do is we've got to suck the mule tape down through the conduit so we did four inch conduit plenty big plenty big should be an easy pull I've got this spool of uh, mule tape here that's rated for 1800 pounds we're gonna use the vacuum suck that in I tied a uh, Home Depot plastic bag to it we'll use the vacuum see if we can get enough suction on that four inch line to suck all that through to the other end and then we're gonna hook that to the cable. We're gonna use this hoist that I put on the excavator. Unfortunately, as soon as I needed the uh, forklift to do all this, it broke. So it doesn't go in reverse for some reason. It's electronic, but I ain't got time to mess with it. So uh, we're using the excavator, lift that up. We'll just do piece by piece. And we're going to slowly uh, pull this cable through and we tell we get enough of it through to connect it up to the meter box. So that's the plan. Stick with us. Let's see how it goes.
pieces of pipe that's in broken pieces. Is there a lot of mud inside the the pipe? No, I'm gonna, gonna cut a little more off. It was broken, just a half an inch further back.
say you had that straighter shovel? Yes, you want it? Yeah. Well, folks, that's the way it is with me. Three steps forward and two steps back. And, well, it was two big steps. But all said and done, we had a couple of uh, joints that come unglued. And uh, I dug it up and did some repairs. And possibly I broke some pipe when I did that. Or possibly it was just where it come unglued. I don't really know. But we dug it up again and... Did a lot of it by hand this time and got her all fixed. So I think the pipe is all fixed now. So we're going to try again and see if we can suck this pull uh, line through there and meal tape and be able to pull some wire through. So before I get the hole all filled in, we're going to try to pull this through and make sure we're good to go. Take two, I tried to just cup it with my hands and that didn't seem to work didn't get a good enough seal so i got some gorilla tape here i'm gonna try to get a better seal on this That'll seal it, and here we go. We'll try again. Take two. It's going. Okay, well that's all of it, so it ain't made it to the other end. Let's go look the other end and see what we got. So that didn't work. I guess it's a matter of vacuum versus volume and the four inch pipe is just too much volume for this little vacuum to create enough suction to pull that thing all the way across. Everything is possible with Gorilla tape. All right, so we can see the bag, it's right there. I'm gonna try to stick it with some Gorilla tape here and see if we can just pull it up. Got it. Yes. All right, success. What I'm doing now, I'm just kind of tying the pull tape around the uh, wires here so that uh, 
we can pull them. I ain't doing nothing fancy. Got no idea if this will work or not, but just kind of putting some loops. some tape around it so it feels pretty good This here's Gorilla Tape. It's probably the best tape in the world. You can fix just about anything with duct tape. So, with Gorilla Tape, I think you can fix everything. I mean, you can tape a car together and this stuff will hold it. <laughs> it's the best. Okay. All right, so our pull tape, I think, is secured. Only one way to find out. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to try to feed this stuff by hand for a bit. And once we get it to where we can't feed it no more by hand, then we'll break out the uh, winch or the hoist and pull it, you know, inch by inch like that. So that's where we're at. Stick with us, let's see how it goes. You'll have a lot of dirt. It's good exercise. <laughs> I'm just working on right here. I'll bring the dozer over and do the rest. Ah, okay. What? <laughs> All right, folks. It's been a grueling couple days. I mean, uh, what a mess. So, best I can tell one of the glued joints pulled apart and we had a bunch of rain 
this thing was caving in. I dug down. I thought I fixed it. Cleared everything up. The pipe pulled apart here and down in the dirt. And uh, so I put this back together, but I didn't see underneath that it had pulled apart. And so then uh, when we tried to run the mule tape, it didn't work. Then I ran a uh, sewer uh, clean out deal, snip big giant electric snake down into it and we hit basically a mud wall. And so that told me, okay, I got a problem with the pipe. So then I dug it up again. And of course in the process of digging it up, I actually hit the pipe and broke more pipe. And uh, then we dug by hand uh, for a whole day, pretty much I dug by hand, got down and I found where the pipe was separated. And uh, then I had to dig out all the pipe so that I could replace that portion and do it by hand, of course, because the excavator would just break more pipe. And uh, finally got it all exposed and everything. We had enough pipe left over that we were able to replace the broken pipe. Unfortunately, I didn't have any couplers. So I had to go to town and buy a couple of couplers for it. And of course this is four inch, so you can only get it from electrical supply house. Box stores don't carry nothing that big. Got the parts, came back, got it all together, and then started burying it by hand so that we could pack the dirt underneath it where I had dug out because I needed movement in that pipe to get all the pieces back together. And uh, got it filled in and buried and then started burying it more with the excavator. We got our wire pulled through. Uh, I didn't even use the hoist. I just used the hydraulics on the uh, uh, excavator as you'll see in the video or as you saw in the video. And now we got our wires here. I've trimmed the ends uh, so that they'll fit into the uh, lugs. And now I'm going to uh, wire them up. So we got three wires to connect. Neutral, line one, line two. So I'm going to go white, black, red. And uh, that's all there's going to be to that. We're going to get this hooked up. And then we will be done with our service wire. We've got uh, five feet of tag still hanging out over there. That's the requirement of the power company. They want a minimum of five feet left hanging out for them to work with. And that'll be where they set the transformer and wire that up. So this is 500 MCM wire. It's very heavy. Uh, work to bend it. Again, props going out to the electricians that do this every day. And to top it all off, my body is sore as can be. Doing all that shoveling is not what I'm used to and I paid the price for that. tied on there we will come back and torque these I believe uh, 200 pounds 200 pound inch max so yeah 200 inch pounds to tighten those two as far as the torque specs that was neutral, now we get line one. 
challenging. wires hard to bend. these wires the exact same length so this particular wires got to cram in there a lot more so that's the challenge here is to bend it right to get it to fit to do something different here I need something to like bend this wire better so I can get it in the deal so okay I had to rethink that a little bit so I disconnected my other two wires to get them out of the way since this is obviously the most difficult got that line too hooked up and now we'll come back and do the other ones and hopefully this will be easier than that was in place.
got to do is check the torque on those. This one I don't like. It sticks out a little bit further than I want. So let's see what we can do. Bend that a little bit. But overall, they're in there. They're in the lugs. That should do that. One step closer. Next thing we got to do is our ground work. We'll get to that. That'll be the next project. Well, folks, if you stuck with us this long, you've made it through another one of our exciting videos. And you've stuck with us along this journey as we continue moving forward, trying to get this electricity work done. Still a lot more to go. Who knows what's going to happen. As always, appreciate y'all watching. Take care. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one.